Welcome back, folks. So I just picked up this cash acceptor, and I was wondering... Oh, I forgot the money. Well, anyways. So, you know, there's only so much that you can really do with this thing. So I was hoping that I could come up with something a little more useful, a little more fun. And the first thing I thought was the blinds. So I pulled this particular gearhead motor off the back of my other one of these cash acceptors. And I'm going to hook it up to my window shades and I'm going to see if I can't have them automatically open and close. So I decided to sleep on it last night and it came to me. I got this vacuum hose that'll be the perfect size to use as a drive shaft. All I had to do was cut a short piece of that vacuum hose, pop it on the drive, pop it on the blinds, and let that baby rip. So what's happening here is power to run the blind motor comes in here to each relay. Positive goes to one, negative goes to the other. And when they're off, positive comes out one of these two wires and negative comes out the other one. But then when you hit this switch and turn both relays on, then the opposite wires hold positive and negative, which, you know, reverses the direction of the motor. Well, it's definitely more work than I was anticipating for Jake City Customs video. When it's all said and done, I think it was worth it. All right, folks. Well, hope you found that interesting. I'm going to close this out with a wiring diagram for anybody who's interested in building something similar. And uh, see you next time. So if you go way back, well, not way back, but if you go back a few years, like four years or so, there's this really short video where I drive a clock motor with a bank of relays and I'm only using two out of the it's like a bank of ten or eight or something but uh, it's basically just a flip-flop and that's pretty much what's going on here it looks complicated you know because there's like ten wires coming out of this couple of relays it looks a little intimidating but when you see it like this you'll see how simple it is this switch up here lets power go through to the motor right and now the motor is going to turn in one particular direction because of how the because of the polarity here and then when you turn on both of these relays at the same time you'll see that these wires have just been hooked up backwards from the original ones and that's it turn both relays on and the current flows in this direction and when you let go of this switch and the relay shut off it goes back to the original way and the motor spins the opposite direction. The only reason that I've used two different things here is because I was using my bench supply to run this motor and I was limiting the current a little too much and it wasn't able to hold the relays closed while the motor was loaded down. So I just used a 9 volt battery to ensure the relays could stay latched and I could measure the current on uh, just the engine. So, that's about it, guys. See you next time. Did you know that those aren't vents? I mean, they might have a little ancillary venting going on, but if a motor is designed to need ventilation, they'll cut this into it. These little punch-outs are actually just tabs to hold the magnets in place.